uh, technical technical difficulties. That's, that's so, I thought, instead of just sitting here, let's bullshit each other and see who comes on. Uh, uh, where I'm at at the moment is I uh, sort of with, at the moment, so many people missing. Uh, I'm not sure if I really want to do anything, uh, uh, you know, try to lay out a whole thing uh like we normally do uh but let's chit chat for a while and see if a whole bunch of people jump in late here okay roy you on there start me off observations of the world questions about the world what the hell are we doing uh, well one thing i was noticing i just got back from my uh my walk out here at the beach uh, after work on Friday. And, uh, you know, I was noticing how critical it is to make this distinction between all of the stuff that goes on and the thoughts and the ideas and the concerns and all of the stuff of me having completed a week of work on Friday and something else, you know, this centered kind of connected uh, left, right, aligned something, experiential person. And they're okay. very different. It's a very different uh, reality there, a domain, as you would say. Um, are we, are you talking about this, uh, that you had all your thoughts and observations and stuff, this upper half, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in feeling your left, right, uh, centering a bit better, da da da, -da. Mm -hmm. You're starting to include this part a bit more? Yeah, yeah, and the experiential. So yes. all of a sudden, yes. the experiential shows up. Yes. And it's very distinct from this other. This other is just who I thought I was when I was walking out there on the, on the path, right? Uh, so how, how else could we word that? The thinking about yourself, the experiencing yourself. <laughs> that we get some harmony, hopefully, between those two. Mm -hmm. The heavy people say, mind-body harmony. Okay, good. At a lesser level, good. Ideas, viewpoints, whatever, and the actual feeling that's going to more around the body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The harmony is when they coincide are relating to each other, the downbeat to the upbeat, the upbeat to the downbeat, how, however you want to present it or, or say it. As they get into balance and harmony, ah, potentially a better person there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't we have in our language a lot of words about uh, this guy uh, thinks too highly of himself. Uh, he's not grounded. He's kind of bullshit. What he's saying, he can't produce. It's better words than that, but you, help me here. <laughs> big head. Huh? Empty he's bag. Got a big head. Big head, yeah. Empty bag. Empty bag. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he, he can't walk his talk. Okay. Lightweight. Steve, you like that one? Steve likes that phrasing. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of, of filled with himself. Yeah. Okay. But there's something that's not there. So some degree of harmony. If he says he's going to do it, he'll do it. Okay. He's got the sustaining ability, not just the idea of it, but the actual sustaining ability to hang in with the project. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who are we talking to? Roy, you, you okay so far? You want to add yeah. anything to this? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I guess what, what stood out for me on the walk was, was recognizing or, again, picking up that it is distinct, that there is a very distinct uh, domain there and that it's easily accessible uh, or simply accessible. And... Uh, could I say oh, yeah. if you acknowledge it? 
I just, oh, I acknowledge that. I, I acknowledge it and let it be there. Acknowledge it so it can then activate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or even just recognizing that it's there. That you're not this other ba 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 that's going on. That that isn't you. You know, that's not the total. The total. Yeah, the total you. Right. 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 Yeah. Um, but to it has more life force than this cursory. I acknowledge you're there. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. it itself is alive with itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. How can I say that better? Uh, we want to give both forces don't know if that's a good word but both forces they're as best as we can a fuller and fuller turn Mm -hmm. actually Mm -hmm. if the one force acknowledges but doesn't really allow the other one Uh, the other one's being cut short. Okay. This is my wife, but you don't let her talk. Is that a good example? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she exists, but stay in the corner. Shut up. (laughs) No, this is an entity. This, this, they're both sort of entities and in harmony, they breed a better level of us, but both sort of as best as possible, fully being there at whatever level we're at. So this sexy thing can go on, (laughs) rebreed you, recreate you kind of thing. Oh, since it was big time, so I think he used the words recreate, recreate yourself. I use lesser words at a lesser level. Mix yourself better, a little better level. Uh, Breed, breed yourself, okay? He was big time, so I I think he used uh, 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 recreate yourself. Same pattern, just finer and finer and finer. Well, uh, Roy, where are you? (laughs) Help. I'm following along here. Okay, cool. (laughs) Uh, What do you think people do? uh, Where they miss certain things. And anything along those lines? Will they believe the upper idea of you is everything? Yeah, yeah. It's it, it to me, like when I think about it or when it comes to me is that they are that other view. There's not even a thinking about it. They're, whatever's going on there, they are that at that point. So there's no, you know, what they're missing isn't even accessible in that world in some way. So somehow it just appears, right? Or it shows up and there it is. And then you recognize, oh, this is different than that. There's, there's a whole different thing going on. Uh, probably some misunderstanding comes up because the, let's say concept, we call that upper half concept for now, for a moment. Uh, get the concept and you get a bit of a character there just from that piece. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. so if you say to that person do you exist or something yes I do are you feeling yes I'm feeling a bit but mm-hmm. it's not the boom boom of, of that whole presence of the o- other partner okay it's a piece of it okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, but, but the piece of it can mislead them get a piece and they think i got it okay i kind of think of it in terms of uh aware experience okay i'm aware that there is an experience or yeah or in my awareness i'm feeling a bit there i'm experiencing but it's the awareness is experience it's not awareness and boom boom bang bang experiencer it's not the fullness of it. Yeah, it's being left out, okay? Using the, the, the bad husband-wife thing. She's still in the corner. She's not expressing herself. She's been acknowledged. But she can't stand up there and 
have her turn to run the show or something. Yeah, dumb example, sorry. <laughs> Anything to add, Roy? Or you know, I wonder if there's even a, like this uh, tendency to uh, kind of drift away, you know? I mean, after something's established and you have this kind of experiential experience that there's this oftentimes it lingers. There's like this lingering draw away from that. And uh, it doesn't have to have the power over you to pull you out of that, but just knowing that that tendency is there, that there is a kind of uh, a drift away or a, uh, you know, pulling you off course, like they say of an airplane, right? It doesn't go straight from New Jersey to California. It kind of zigzags. There's Judy, right? there's Marie, there's, that's, uh, what year was that? That's a um, Norris week. And here. Sorry, somebody's just chatting. Please continue, Roy. No, I'm just saying, it, it's like, it, you know, like I was saying with the plane, right? It, it zigzags, it goes with the wind, it changes, it goes a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. It's not just a straight, direct line. And so even when you establish this line or this center or this uh, connectedness, there's a, you know, it kind of goes back and forth, it seems. It's not just yeah. to me. Could it be that... When you acknowledge this, uh, for lack of words, under force or the feeling force, not it best its name, uh, but this other main piece, okay? Mm -hmm. As that starts to activate more and more, it could push this, this part, because it's a force moving up through, it could push this guy to what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. More of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, so how to learn to stabilize mm -hmm. and let it breed the character who, again, is in harmony, better level mm -hmm. character in harmony. He's aware, thinking, whatever, feeling. So the entrance of newer, better, fuller energies doesn't push him into more of a drift. Yeah. Yeah. It's what I've seen a lot. I think it's a great word, stabilize. I mean, I think that really uh, says a lot right there that uh, you know, you've gotten there, but it's not quite stable yet. And you need to stabilize it with like, uh, you know, what they would in an airplane again, right? You'd have some sort of uh, flight controls that's gonna stabilize the situation, a compass of some kind. Yeah. Yeah, we're caught up, aren't we, in a uh, push-pull in the manifest creation? Mm. Pushes mm -hmm. tighter pulls more, oh, I'm getting it to my subject for tonight. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Bob, we're at 29. 29. Bob, if you, if oh. you notice. Maybe it's okay. Are... Sorry. No, no, please. There's a full, pretty full compliment at this point, oh. almost as many as we had last week at this time. And okay. there may be a few more joining us, but I think we're pretty much there. Mm. Okay. Then. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Uh, this is also except in, in, in the vortex, the pushing the force that goes into tighter and tighter, heavier dimensions. And within that is the uh, ability or the other side of that force, which is drawing into finer and finer and finer and finer. So, so it's, it's that thing. Okay. And again, Wyo Sensei said, don't go anywhere, wherever you are, but then you have to do inner dimensional work. And that's the next line and the next better mix of those two. And then the next one and the next uh, better, the more of this and the more of that mixes up better character. Okay. Uh, and you go straight through. So don't go anywhere. Oh, I've got to be spiritual. Let me go way up there to the left of heaven or something. It, here and now, finer and finer and finer and finer. So where the hell are we going with that? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Okay, 
I thought I wanted to sort of talk about the uh, tighter of things, because as human beings, damn, uh, we get, it'll happen, okay? All right? You wake up one morning and it's a little, nah. Okay? It's sort of a, a natural possibility, okay? But I thought we would hang out with that and play with that dialogue, that, uh, th this that happens, and why, how, whatever. And then, again, probably how to move back into finer here and now. Uh, so, where, where should we go here? Uh, so anyway, you get tighter. It's not you screwed up per se. It's because the forces are doing that. The cr original creative forces are going in, coming back finer, going into heavier, moving back into finer. Uh, so we're, we're involved with those forces. So of course it can do that. Okay. Ah, where do I want to go? I think I wanted to ask, check my notes here in a moment. I think I wanted to ask um, um, using a quality, is that the right word? Um, on this push, uh, your main quality or you got more than one, but let's say a main quality. A main quality can push you tighter and tighter. And that main quality that in its more original was really, wow, pushes you and you start to get the tighter of it, even potentially the turnaround opposite of it, you know, like love becomes hate kind of thing. So you can really get that tight to where it seems spin opposite. Are, are you following me so far? Did I say anything proper yet? Where's Noah? He, he usually gives me a this or a that. Let him see your face, Noah. No? He gave up on me. Okay. Uh, I'm here, Sensei. Oh. Are, are we any place yet? What am I talking about? Yes. You're talking about recognizing that you're in a tight place and that you haven't made a mistake, but the forces are on the move. Yeah. And recognizing that is going to change how you respond. Okay, good. Right, right there. Recognizing, although I don't like to get into tight Bobby, of course, but that happening, one thing, as he said, is, oh, the forces are distinctly on the move. How do I know? Because I'm being squashed in here a bit. I'm getting bitchy, whatever. Okay. Oh, the forces are on the move. I might say right at that time, we could say, oh, the game is afoot. Now I start playing the game with this, the settling, opening, da 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 da. I sort of know where I am already. It's doing this. Whoa. I breathe, I settle, I open, I need more room. And as there's more room, I'm starting to move from this tighter one to the next dimensional level, potentially, yeah? Okay. Let's, let's do an example. Tija, I gave him a heads up a couple of minutes before the program. Uh, yeah, right. Now, mm -hmm. Tija, Historically, many, 30 years ago or something, uh, I was playing a game with TJ. I said, you're in the beginning of your universe. What'd you see? And he said, it's too beautiful. Okay. <laughs> wow, it's too much. And then uh, the other week, boom, there it was again. When we did the uh, uh, space, 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 we brought you to a very original location and and at the more original location there it was again oh it's beautiful 
Okay. Yeah. The original, yes. the original right. line was to connect with that beauty. As I opened right. into the beauty, that's where in the size that I was at that point was overwhelming. The, the domain, my lineage of both uh, beauty and the creation of beauty or creativity expression, you could say. Yeah. Um, that the, the fullness of that compared to where my size was at that time was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The size of the awareness person wasn't good enough to cope oh, with. Yeah. <laughs> it's too beautiful. It's too beautiful. <laughs> I mean, what a dilemma, actually. <laughs> so now here he is, uh, say, in the early stages of his creation, it's beautiful. Well, what's the second word? Uh, creativity, I think, expression. Creativity, the, yeah. The ability to express yeah. that or to. Yeah. yeah beauty to and creativity. Creativity, yeah. beauty. Yeah. So he's using two qualities there. Okay. It's good to have two because it helps with the balance of things. Yeah. Okay. Then I asked them, okay, but now here's the vortex starting. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Now at a certain level, you can choose the level. Uh, what level beauty, creativity is it at a certain level? Ar arbitrary, halfway. <laughs> yeah, halfway, halfway is, is maybe is connected with that expression. It's too beautiful. And then I might have some mental or emotional re reaction to that, you know, so I'd be, uh, I don't know if I want to deal with this. I don't know if I can deal with it, you know? Okay. So, it's, so even though it's my major, but now you don't you know, know that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to deal with a, a lot of beauty or more beauty. You're questioning it somehow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm question. I, th I mean, that's a that's really a kind of uh, see in the beginning wow. more original. There's no question. Oh wow, it's all pervading here. Okay, but start to come in, and you begin to question even your major. Let's come in tighter. Come in tighter. That's right. Head towards a three by three, two by two, using my mapping. Yeah. I, you know, I, as I'm doing this, I'm in my mind more right now. I'm in my mind and I'm more judgmental. Yeah, like, I don't like this or I don't want this. Talk in terms of beauty for me, please. Yeah. In relationship to beauty, things are, things are not, all, everything is not beautiful like I thought, you know, so I'm judging it. I'm some things are, some things aren't. Yeah, some things are, some things aren't. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm starting to starting to feel cramped in uh, in and I'm I even question my lineage there. Right? Like, yeah. Beauty, creativity. Yeah, if somebody at a certain point told you, oh, that's your major, you would go, really? No. You got you misunderstood me for somebody else kind of thing. Yeah, you're thinking of somebody else. What's your second word there? Beauty and again? Creativity, expression, creativity, expression. Creativity. What, at this level, what's your, what's happening with the creativity partner to beauty? beauty. Well, doubt. There's, there's certainly doubt in, uh, in both ability and, as I said, judgment. Like, I can't really do this. I mean, is this, is this for real? Yeah. Um, Somebody asked you to create a, a, a few songs for a play. Yeah. There we are. I don't think I can do this. I I'm not ready to do this. Uh, I call somebody else. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, not just, I wouldn't call it self-doubt, but it's doubt in the, in the connection to beauty and, ex, and creativity. Yeah. Rather than saying, yeah, not knowing I can do it, but <laughs> saying, yeah, that's it's for fun. where that place is. It's starting to feel more cramped. Just for fun. Uh, one more. Boom, boom. Man, things are, things are ugly. <laughs> I don't know nothing about beauty. 
don't know nothing about creativity. This feels this feels pretty like there's a lack of beauty. It's ugly. On the side, it's pushing in on the side. It's lack, not only lack of beauty. It's the antithesis. It's the yeah. Know, first step to even turn around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm as I'm feeling that I, I don't mind feeling it because I know I can move out of it. But yeah, but it, but it it is definitely a tightening around. Yeah, I, I like the, the term type spaces because it feels like it's pushing. <laughs> At a certain level, you feel it. Yeah, like, I can't move here. Uh, yeah. You watch certain people, they're like this. You you know they're having a problem because this is their norm. <laughs> I'm trying to pull my shoulders back. Right <laughs> I'm trying to breathe a little bit because it feels like my breath is... <laughs> oh, yeah. Here too. My heart will stop soon. <laughs> Yeah. And we go tighter, but it's going to get a little crazy here. So, but uh, people, do you understand what we're doing? What I'm trying to lay out? You all have a very original, beautiful qualities. Those happen to be his. You got your own. Okay. And if they're pushing on you, you don't know how things work. You push you tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, where even those beautiful qualities become your problem. All you see is uh, ugly. What's wrong with that? They only say ugly, ugly, ugly. Or somebody will say to you, holy shit, man, I don't want to hang out with you anymore because all you do is point out ugly stuff. It gets tiring after a while. Go hang out with somebody else. Okay? You understand what's happening? Yeah, I, I definitely do and felt, that's why I said I was in my mind and very judgmental. It was like negatively judgmental. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to ask the membership. <laughs> Can you remember or do you know, is there, let's use the word quality, uh, is there more than once? Is there oftentimes you're pushed into something? What's your negative? And we'll see about the quality later, but what's your negative that occurs more than once? Maybe it crops in once a month or once every six months or something, but it's not unusual for you to be thinking certain things or feeling about certain things. And we'll try to pick up the quality there. I did, did you follow what I said? I didn't say it fantastically. Did I help? Hi, Sensei. It's Andreas. May I? Tight space, Andreas. Go. Yes. Tight space. Paranoia. The antithesis is uh, caution, self protection, but also moving okay. on. Okay. Is there a, a quality kind of word there? Paranoia is just a, a word somebody gave to whatever you're feeling. Uh, uh -huh. Can you? Can you caution, caution, huh? caution, caution, be careful, protection. Okay, protection. Okay, let's stay with that one. I don't feel protected, I have to be cautious. Okay, with that, yes, yes, correct, absolutely. Okay. I don't feel protected. I think we could backtrack that. Okay, so as you settle and open and move through these levels, okay, to your basics, uh, the trick of using space at first, I think we, we touch on that very well, I'd like to get back to it, but just space, spacing, space, spacing, enabled you to move a, a bit quicker through those dimensional barriers that exist, okay? and backtrack that, uh, okay? And see, it's more finer, not original source, we're not there yet, but the finer levels of that. Yes. And to do it in segments at first, segments at first. So for example, uh, uh, I have to be cautious because what's our phrasing again? Because what? 
paranoia or no 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 no, no none of protection no okay, lack of protection yeah. uh then you hit your next level easy you settle you open and that same you're on that let's call it lineage you're on that quality lin lineage now at this next a little more open level what is it what's its flavor or what is it saying okay and it says well of course have some calm i'm making this up for me uh have some caution but don't be crazy about it it's like well, of course in san francisco lock your doors of your car okay but don't be crazy about it you you know kind of thing so it's still saying be cautious but it's not as bad as that first one which is potentially getting weird okay it's the next level of it and then i settle and i open i move on to the next level of it and i backtrack it is that is that okay yes i want to move somebody else something that so. you in tighter that you recognize is it's not the first time it's happened. Therefore, I'm saying, oh, good. It's probably a major quality. So let's take advantage of it. Somebody else? Bing, 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 bing. I have to make some up for you. Gee, nobody's going to ever love me. And it'll get tighter. Nobody cares for me. Forget love. They don't care for me. Could get tighter. Nobody even knows I exist. Da, 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 da. But what's our basic there? Caring for you. Love. Boom, 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 boom. If you recognize the quality as you get tighter, gives you a clue or a, a, a something that's fun to backtrack. Because that quality pushes you a lot. I asked for, for uh, those boxing in things that you recognize. You, you often have that feeling, those ideas. Nobody loves me. Okay. Or somebody else could be, there's not time enough. There's no time. I feel like the world is pressuring me and I don't have time to do things. There's no time. Oh, okay, easy. We could use time as a quality. Easy, more room, settle down your basics here. We're passing through dimensions, but using that line, that lineage, um, at the next level, There'll be not great shakes. I don't expect great shakes when I chop it up small pieces, but it, I learn a lot. <laughs> Next level, no time, easy settle. Uh, easy settle. It's a little bit different. Not enough time, but not, not the craziness I was feeling as I move into another level. Uh, it'll be something a little bit better about time. Eventually, soon, will be how to utilize your time better. You'll have a sense of, oh, that's not so important. I shouldn't worry about that now. I should take care of these three things, not those four things. I, I don't need to do that right now. And that clearer to you at, at that level. And next level, other things are, are clearer, okay? Or in a sense, there's a... Uh, uh, and somehow or other, you'll experience there is enough time. Uh, did you follow that? I want to hear yours. I don't want to sit here and keep making stuff up for you. Yours. You've never been boxed in? I can't believe that. You're a human being. We've all been boxed in. Oh, Sensei was boxed in. I'll tell you what he said about this after a while. Uh, Sensei Bob here. Mm -hmm. My basic quality is uh, lawfulness. So when I get really boxed in, it's chaos. There's nothing makes sense. Can't count on anything. It's just chaos. There's no law. Yeah. 
Is that what you're saying? There's no. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Could you kick it back a bit before it gets into chaos? Could you kick it back a little bit? Yes. The next thing, kind of moving back toward lawfulness, is uh, you know there's sort of uh, some vague outlines of how things work. Can't rely on it a lot, but there's there's a vague outline that that things work uh, according to certain natural laws, but it's very vague, and that's something you can really count on. Yeah, it's not there a hundred percent. Not even close. Yeah. yeah. Might be there fifty percent or whatever, whatever. Yeah, da 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 da. da. Okay, yeah. So if you find yourself boxed in, uh, even you recognize you're getting kind of crazy with something. Uh, should catch it, catch it earlier, hope hopefully. Uh, but to settle open, because the push comes from, in this case, a main quality. Okay, a main quality. Okay, or two, you've got more than one. Okay, equality. Okay, somebody? Yes, you think so. Two more Danny two. here. Who that Danny there? Danny. Yeah, Danny, yeah, my, my um, mine is impatience and, um, of having to tolerate something and uh, okay yeah. could you out of that could you give me sort of a quality word uh the frustration does that do it frustration frustration does that do it for you yeah well see i'm not sure the finer of of oh, frustration, I frustration. Yeah. i try like sort of a quality word What's not happening that you're frustrated? What's not happening that makes you frustrated? What are they I'm not doing? able? To, yeah, I'm not able to do what I want to do. I'm held back. You're held back. I'm held back. Okay. Why are you held back? I have to wait. The situation demands wait. You're breaking a bit. Situation what? I'm sorry, Danny. We lost you for a moment. Could you please repeat? Okay. I'll I'll, I'll um get rid of the video. Um, can't really remember what I said. Actually, it's it's that Crunch, I have you're to wait. Frustrated. Frustrated. Yeah, I'm frustrated. I have no choice. I have to sit and wait. There appears that there's nothing I can do. Okay. To me, that's the, a good natural response. Don't go any further. Sit, settle, wait, in first, wait, easy, opening. I, I think that's the heading back upstream a, a bit. So, okay, so yes, great, good. But on the line to this quality, what's the quality? I may be dumb, I need a quality word. Can you give me a quality word? Why are you ineffective? Let's stay with that, you're ineffective. Why are you ineffective? Because I think I am. It's my thoughts. Why are you ineffective? I know you're thinking you're ineffective, but after, why are you ineffective? Is it communication? Is it you're not effective because you don't have enough uh, power? Is it ineffective because uh, you don't care about people? What, why? Is there quality word potential here? Yes, communication. Communication. I feel ineffective because I'm not communicating. I feel so ineffective. Okay, can we stay with communication? Okay. Yes. 
This size doesn't communicate well. Easy, settle, open, da 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 We go through our process to move into a better dimension on the lineage communication. Second level, uh, yeah, don't try to go full bore to the original God level of communication. In original creation, everything in creation communicates with everything else in creation, okay? Uh, don't try to make these tremendous jumps. It's bullshit. Uh, but let's go bing, 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 bing. It's good practice. A better level, more open, more space, more room, finer energies create the communicator. Uh, he's not fantastic yet, but at the next best level, if you're playing the game, What's your improvement? Is there any even little improvement on communicating and how? At level two, let's call it. You're not the best communicator in the world, but it's better than none communicating. How I are you? I make contact. Huh? I'm making contact. 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 Okay, starting to reach out and touch in some form. Okay. Yeah. Okay, quickly for me. Okay, good. Easy, easy. It's okay to make contact. Okay. Uh, if we're still too heavily negative, it'd be, I make contact, but I'm afraid they're going to yell at me or something. But anyway, forget that. Let's continue. One more better level, better level. We settle, we open, we're moving through dimensions. The lineage, if you would, is communication. At level three, Level three, what's your sense of what's going on? What are you doing? How are they reacting? I don't know, something. What's your sense? There, there's a clarity and there is a responsiveness to what I'm saying. Saying they're res they're responding. Yep. I'm speaking clearer. They seem to respond better because they heard my clearer presentation. Something like, like that. If I am yes. hearing you right. Yes. Now. Okay. And on and on and on. Uh, yeah. Don't just do one and try to make it a giant leap to some ultimate perfection of that quality. Uh, you'll you'll be too mental about it, it'll be bullshit, it won't really be, but to do it properly, fully. So not only do you have the idea of a clearer presentation, but you also get, for lack of words, the body, you get, you get this under half of things also. So the person who is speaking speaks clearer, aligns to the person, that all naturally happened. Good presentation will naturally happen, okay? Blah, and on and on. Uh, people, are you following the pattern I'm, I'm trying to lay out here? That when you find yourself boxed in, because you got pushed in by a main quality, trying to show it's there, how to recognize it, especially those that qualities that come in often, and box you in with the same thoughts and bitches must be important or it wouldn't be there pushing. <laughs> All right. It's a main one. Whoa, let's use it. I know it's bitchy here, but let's catch the trick of things. And, and, and uh, backtrack it, one of my words, open up to the more of it because by law, dimensionally can only be finer. Not just be aware, but have some sense of experience so that both halves are coming into play. Yeah. Yeah. But -da, 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 da I don't know if I lost you and lost me. Somebody? Since I just tease you here. Tease you there. Yeah. Yeah. I was just appreciating. I'm sorry, Tisha, you're muted. But, okay, how's that? Thank you. Yeah, but what I noticed is that when uh, 
when Danny got in line with uh, his, with the lineage, um, he could start to see, I think, some depth, uh, some some uh, some movement. He started with the contraction. He started with the frustration, and it wasn't clear at that point what his what the lineage is. So he's yeah. probably got a lineage. Yeah, those, those words couldn't tell me quite what the lineage were. That's why I was on yeah, that's a right. quality word. Yeah. So Danny is probably, you know, a brilliant, you know, in in the higher expression of his being, he's a brilliant communicator. Yeah. And uh, he was just feeling uh, frustrated. Yeah. And it's hard to start there. It's It's hard to start at frustration because it's not clear what the frustration is about. I, I've always thought uh, those famous characters who had speech impediments and they got through it and they become fantastic speakers. I thought, oh, that's so cool. You see that thing that was bad for them. Ha, 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 ha. And they became damn good at it. They became famous for it kind of thing. I was thought uh, there's some daylight in that in those stories. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, anything, observations? You don't have to pour your guts out to us yet if you're not ready, but any anything, anything that and uh, are we missing anything with you on this presentation of that? to help tell you when you're really boxed in, you recognize the thought patterns and feelings uh, can help give you a way of backtracking using that line lineage quality to facilitate getting to the, the true core of the problem, the true source of, the, of that that will become a problem, the better levels of it where it's not a problem, it's a your gift, your specialty. Where the hell are we? Uh, since it's Bob again, one Bobby. real piece of good advice you gave me that has stood me in good stead many times is don't quit on a bad day. Okay. So if you're not going to quit on a bad day, what are you going to do instead? And the instead is the process you've just been laying out. Yeah. But I, that helps you to remember, okay, wait a minute, this is a bad day. Yeah. Don't quit on a bad day. Okay, what am I going to yeah. do? And if you can't figure out the answer or the quality, at least don't quit. Yeah. Wait a bit. Wait. Ah. Wait a bit. Settle a bit. We'll see tomorrow, but don't in that, argh, don't quit then. I, I think Bob's referring to a story I, I mentioned about it in Japan. Well, I met him in o Oakland. Uh, he had a Japanese wife who wanted to go back to Japan. And uh, he loved the art. He loved the art. Uh, he really wanted to get back and continue training. Uh, and one day I was there in the, in the dojo. Uh, one of the other Westerners was giving him a bad time. And he got frustrated. He quit. I couldn't believe it. One bad little set, it wasn't even a class. It was four or five minutes of something, okay? And he quit and I thought, this guy loved the art. He, he really, he came to Japan to major in the art again and, and a few lousy minutes and this other Westerner was purposely screwing him over. <laughs> Get frustrated and he quits. So that's what I said to, to Bob. Don't quit on a bad day. That was such a, I really felt sorry for the guy. Uh, never met him later to see how he was doing, but I just felt sorry. Uh, and if somebody were to say, well, maybe that was, uh, maybe that was right for him. I say, uh, maybe, but not at the level he was at, making such a decision. Okay. So the trick I learned, what I used to do for myself in, in Japan, because I didn't know how long I was going to stay, is on a good day, fair day, good day. I'd say, okay, how much longer do I want to stay and 
practice. And I'd hang out with it and be like, well, you know, easily another few months. Okay. And then I would note I had made that decision on a good day. So if in day after day training, there's going to be some bad days. It's not all great. There's some bad days where things aren't quite working well. Uh, but I had made my decision for three months. So if a week later, I had a bad day. I didn't make any decision from it. I'd already had my decision when I was more squared away uh, on a good day, could feel things better. Uh, so that's the game that I used. Okay. So that I wouldn't inadvertently uh, uh, make a move, a decision when I'm here. Did I say that right? So personal tricks of the trade are things that came to me to utilize. Where are we on the subject? Well, how many times does somebody, when they're having one of those bad moments, say something to somebody that forever they wish they could take back? And so the ability yeah. to <laughs> suspend that, whatever, however you call it. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it's hard in mid push to bite your tongue. I call it bite your tongue. You know, I've done it a few times where it's like, don't go any further, not don't bite your tongue. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but if you do say it, it's too late. You already said it. Then at least you, you call them back. <laughs> that night, next week, whatever, and apologize. <laughs> well, the old trick of putting the letter in the drawer overnight or something like, you could kind of do that with your rush just momentarily. Yeah. Okay. Sensei? Yo. Is there a connection between like worthiness and the true self as a... Um, as a quality that you're talking about. Could you repeat that, please? Anna, please say it again. Is there a connection between like, un, like qualities of worthiness and feeling just like enoughness and that sense of true self showing up? Okay, worthiness, W-O-R-T-A, yes, okay. Okay, so let's say. I don't feel worthy. Sure. I don't feel I deserve this, whatever it is. Is that where we're going? Yeah, or, or like, I guess it, it, it shows up more subtly, but yeah, I think that's the general. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, not me kind of thing in some way. Oh no, not me. Yeah. Yeah. Help me here. <laughs> it's um, it's kind of like, well, even if it is me, then I've got to overdo it to compensate for something I don't even. It's just like this. I don't know. It just feels like it. It can't. Hmm. Hang on. Let me forge for it. It feels like just like enoughness. Like it'll never be enough, even if it is at, at its smallest. What if it's just not enough? Okay, is that is that personal that I don't have enough? Is is it a I don't have enough kind of thing? Is it more? It's it's more of like an I am not enough. Okay. okay. I am not. Now, possibly. I think uh, Autumn, you brought it up. Uh, you said something about self. Yeah. Yeah that we may not be talking about a quality here that might be a call out from the self there's more of self and it can because it's present it can say hey bobby what are you doing you should be more and as you're a <laughs> robert i can be more here and as you're a nado i can be more so sometimes the self will call out uh I don't know if I should waste time. In the book, the doctor... Uh, Eben Alexander? E Eben, Eben maybe. In his book, 
He talks a lot about uh, 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 ending up in an orphanage when he was a child, not knowing whose parents were, and and he tried to find out who they were. Da 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 da. And he goes into that quite in length. He got so down about that. Now here's this fantastic doctor, married man, da 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 da, da really squared away guy, and he was getting depressed. I believe in the book it said his wife wanted to take him to a therapist because he was getting down on, he didn't know who he was. Kind of thing. So it didn't surprise me that when he did his temporary Passover, his NDE, yes, NDE, uh, that it was heavily on who he was, who he was. Okay, so I don't know if you, in reading the book, if you caught that piece, but uh, that that was starting to draw him very strongly. Who am I? Uh, to me, that wouldn't be a quality. That would be the self trying to show. So uh, I don't have it down pat yet, but I have said to myself, we have to get a better sense to hear when the self is speaking, as opposed to when one of the major qualities are speaking, that there should be a, a autumn, you're following me, a tonality difference or a, some way you know it's self. Mm, okay. That yeah. Be, how it words, the, the wording should be a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bob, you want to jump in for a second? Any any sense of, of what I'm trying to say here? Yes, that if, if, if there's a moment of quiet or something that allows even kind of a dribble, uh, uh, a few percentage points of self to communicate, that has a certain tonality and you want to get better at recognizing it. Okay, but, but now you're talking about it. Let's talk about it. Is there, I asked you, is there a particular way it words itself that we hear is there is there tell me about that 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 thing pushing through your guts here pushing through your system can you do that are you following me yes yeah i'm following you i you need a moment here but yes it, it the experience it has that it communicates of itself is one of support and growth. Okay. And so th that those kinds of communications are uh, at least in, in terms of my system, uh, how I can recognize that it's self and not, and not a quality or not something else reaching out. Anyway, one, one day, hopefully, we'll fine-tune that, oh, I recognize that came from self because certain words were used or certain sense. Oh, this is a quality. Uh, I filed that. Uh, that should be fine-tuned. I'm not quite there yet, but just wanted to give you a heads up on it. So Autumn may have picked it up from the get-go. She said something about self. I think she was talking, inferring self. So uh, I would play the same game, settle, open, and then with the sense of self, say what <laughs> at this level? See if you can get a, a flavor, see if you can hear the communications from your self at that level. Because we use the word self doesn't mean we're talking about the original self that was there at the beginnings of creation, uh, the great spirit self, the great original self. Uh, that self is also caught in this uh, vortex. Okay. That's why I like to do at least a few levels, one by one, can't really pick up self well, two by two, not really clear enough. Three by three, the balance of it getting close. So someplace around in there is a, a sense or yes, I think there's something here. Yes. Four by four is starting to get clearer. 
And right about there, we can start to major in self, in more, 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 more of self. But a certain amount of balance, squared awayness, before we address self. Okay. If I talk to somebody in a one by one, a one by one person, I say self, I, I don't think they're going to know what I'm talking about or what or care what I'm talking about. They're going to totally misunderstand it. Uh, I think a certain amount, a certain amount of balance squared away and before we can get a sense of the uh, paper that's underlying this, the self that's underlying it, and its sense of things. Finer level of self uh, knows your past lives, been, been there, done that, has, has all that within itself at certain levels. Continuing finer and finer levels of self. Uh, so anyway, just a heads up uh, that the cry out from self might have a little different something than the basic bitching by a quality. <laughs> Nothing more I can do with it at the moment, uh, except do the uh, uh, autumn, do the same backtrack style uh, but just in terms of, oh, I think that self, 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 move dimension at a time, inferring finer level of self is there. Is that, is that clear? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So the same basic, uh, but instead of uh, using a quality for your lineage backtracking purpose, here you're going for self in a certain way, backtrack, I don't know if that's a good word now, but uh, doing the process so that self can be more there and self can be more there as the character is more balanced. Okay. The fuller awareness, fuller feeling, fuller feeling, fuller awareness, balance. And right there is your opening. And we can backtrack that. I don't know if that's a good word for self, but move into finer levels and finer levels and finer levels. To me, that's really what meditation is. I don't know what some people do in meditation. Let me think nice thoughts. Um, whatever. <laughs> Let me fall asleep here. And I say, how was your meditation? And I'm, I used to say there are certain things like, oh, I really feel rested. What the hell is that? Rested. This is a chance for self. <laughs> they had a nap or something. <laughs> and they call it meditation. Ah! Anyway, don't get me going. Uh, oh, my God. We did eat up time. Uh, thank you, Sensei. Uh, thank you, Adam. Oh. Uh, What's its bitch again? Can you can you give me one clear shot on its or what it's talking about? It's kind of that. I the doesn't the symptom is unworthiness, I think, and the the feeling is okay. not knowing who it is and okay. the true self not showing itself. Yeah, you're not worthy at the size you're at. Right. Yeah. Easy. If it sounds like self talking and we backtrack, we're self experiencing itself at better and better levels, uh, uh, experiences its worthiness. It's aware of itself self and it experiences itself self. Self is not just an awareness upper half concept view. That's why I keep pushing this under half of this because right. you're going to need that properly with self. Self has a similar thing going on aware experiencing experiencing aware too many people are just going to take an awareness of self and i'm, I'm telling you the, the way the system works it's going to spin you back out of that you, you can't really line up and move along properly you're going to get a good view of things but again the good view you'll get spun eventually you, you, you can't get into eventual critical space. <laughs> right. 
Anyway, another discussion. Are you okay, Autumn? You're, you're all right? Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, eating up time here, people. I'm sorry. I uh, stretch it out see if there's something I want to. Oh, okay. I mentioned Osensei. Oh. Okay. Osensei talked a lot about his morning prayers. Uh, the sense that was a big thing for him. So I asked him about it. See if I can remember and sort of say it right. Okay. He referred to my map, uh, the, the two by, three by, or or uh, bad day, fair day, good day. He said, yes, some morning I'd wake up at a certain level, okay? And if he said, if he didn't do anything, his day wasn't very good, okay? His morning prayers was important because he would do a few of what I just said. He would... Uh, move from one level to the next level and from that level to another level till it felt good enough to where the self was really showing there. And then he would do his magical self to a much more original self gain. Okay. But he did a similar, what he said, a similar process not being shocked that he was in a lesser state, but moving into the next and the next, okay? I think he used the word trade in, so he trade in Bobby for Robert, trade in Robert for Nado, okay? Fully, so he'd stay in alignment. There was enough where a decent self could show. And then he changes things, which I won't get into. Uh, so he could have that, uh, that better level at his beck and call. He could uh, pew, tap it real fast. It was, it was there real fast. I don't know better words. Whereas if he didn't do his morning prayers, yeah, in some cases, he didn't have the time to go bada 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 to get there because he's a warrior. Uh, uh, so he had a couple of fast tricks where he could move through it, uh, but there were emergency tricks. Okay, I was felt his pi of eu was one of his magic tricks to get fast for an emergency. Anyway, uh, am, I, am I getting too weird? No. <laughs> Not at all, Sensei, please. I think enough on that. Um, anyway, the importance of the balance through these processes, the importance of not misunderstanding the awareness, which is very good, very important uh, in, a, in a half thing. That's half of creation, which means in its totality, it's total. But it has a partner, and its totality is total. Okay, if we're just aware and, and in the awareness, of course you can have some experience. The awareness can create a bit of a body, but it's not the fullness of that and this and the totality of those two create a character, eventually create uh, or are part of that that makes up the self. That you want that balance that fullness to go all the way through properly. The awareness, cool. I know you can see a lot. I know it's beautiful. Been there, done that. If you try to go further and further and further, you'll get spun out of, of there. We'll come back to a, a finer level here. But you can't go the big distance if you're interested in going the big distance. <laughs> Okay. We're just trying to, uh, you, I tend to utilize just the manifest creation. I call it map one, uh, the, the vortex we're in, 
as uh, our playing ground, our the thing that we're teaching about. Get squared away there. We'll see about something that precedes that or underlies even that, but not now, not now. Let's get a better sense of this vortex manifest map one, I call it, creation. Okay, let's learn how it works, learn to deal with it. Let's get balanced in it. Aware experience, experiencing aware. Da -da -da -da. So that we do this really properly. So we don't get spun out later in the game. Blah, blah, blah. Say something intelligent because I'm pooping out. Help. Can Sensei, quick question. Yeah. Um, so when I start my day, I take a couple of moments to set the stage, so to speak. And um, as you've heard me mention, I, I like to refresh often throughout the day to to try and do what you and Roy were talking about, stabilize something, make it a sustainable um, state of being for operating in the world that I'm in. Did Osensi have similar um, uh, practices to keep himself refreshed or uh, available and present on an ongoing basis? I, I, I may have lost a bit of this. Again, he had his morning practice where he'd really... Mm -hmm set it up, really experience it. Then during the day, he had, I, I don't know what to call it, a reminder. And I, I'm, I don't have exactly, I'd have to bullshit with him about that, but he had a reminder. I believe the reminder was, remind him that this, this was present, the level he was at with it, this uh, self, but the level he was at with it was, present or available, okay? Uh, because he's in the world and it's easy to get caught up in the world. He'd say he's sitting in the office and his son would come in with some business problem about dojo business and it's easy to get caught up. Or another teacher or lesser, you know, teachers on staff may come in and bitch about a student or another teacher or something. And it's easy to get caught up. So he had something to remind him. Okay. That might have been that. That might have been the fan. That might have been the Joe. Maybe so. I haven't fine, fine tuned that with him. But he had a reminder. <laughs> I, I, I sort of make a game for myself after establishing a state of being first thing is uh, how many times today can I refresh or how many times I sort of make a challenge or game for myself. But depending on the day, maybe it's five, maybe it's 20 or whatever. Um, and it kind of happens on the go, but, but, but thank you. I try to make it a game for myself. You do little pieces also. Uh, you do them, uh, you have one or two minutes between clients. There it is. Exactly. Clear from the last one. In whatever form you're doing that. Yes. Settle, open, clear to a clearer level, because also uh, or a, a bigger space. So when the next patient comes in, you're at a better level working with them, seeing them, uh, seeing things other people can't see, hearing things other people can't hear. Yeah. So you do it between patients, of course. Or I used to, when I came back from Japan, there's no Aikido going on. I had to work in a factory, uh, night shift. And uh, at, uh, we had break times. And at break time, I go hide. hide uh, I was in shipping department, big bunch of boxes. I'd go hide behind the boxes and do some, some kind of whatever energy practice I was doing then. Okay, to reestablish myself. I used to do even shorter ones. I would do some centering practice going to men's room. It was a bit of a long hallway. And I would take advantage and, and be grounded centered as I walked to the bathroom and back. So I'd fit it in whenever. It was fun. Yeah. And it helped hold me at a better level, of course. Yeah. I didn't spin into weird Bobby. 
too fast or too often or something because uh, get, whatever reminding by not just reminding but reminding with a whole system being and paying uh, uh, a better sense of things yeah so just figure out since they did something similar but a very advanced very very advanced level <laughs> but the same process the same flavor okay i think it's important yeah. uh, anyway people running out of time any any last anything i hope there was something in tonight's layout Thank you, Sensei. This is Nancy. This has been very helpful. Hey, who, who is that? Nancy speaking. I'm Nancy. just saying thank you. This has been very helpful. Yeah. You ever find yourself in a tight place? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, what quality like do you think, if you can shoot it off, if you can pick it up, what quality is a common one to push you in tighter? Do you know? Oh, pressure about the negativity in the world, like kind of let I, it lets it gets me down sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and that's a bitchy one because <laughs> it's not getting any better. Yeah, right. Exactly. And I'm worried about how tight can it get. Well, I liked your analogy about the vortex. If it, the vortex is small, it's like a lobster trap. And yes, you are trapped. But the vortex itself can be, can grow in size if I get a chance. It has the chance. opposite beat. Beats yeah, this exactly. and it beats that. Yeah. Yeah. So Give it I, I just draw the line how tight I want to get. <laughs> That's okay. a good one. There's a certain place <laughs> where I dig my heels in. I've been in my crazy. I don't want to go back there. I I, I know what's there when I get tighter. So That's I good. put the brakes on at a certain level. I ain't going any further. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay, people. Uh Katja's still in Switzerland. So me and Brad are going out for sushi. Uh, Thank you so much, uh, Sensei. Enjoy. Thanks for hanging out. I, I hope you. you got something across. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank Sensei. You. Thank you, Thank sensei. you, everyone. Thank you, Thank Sensei. You, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, everyone.